Yeah. And I'll be traveling with uh, Charlie, Kevin, and Seppo. Oh, wow. For the next few weeks, which will be awesome. Hey guys, Johnny Discoff here at the 2019 San Francisco Open presented by Absolute Extracts. I am here with the man from the Southeast himself, all the way on the West Coast, Mr. Matty O. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. How about you, Corey? I'm doing solid, um, but not as solid as you, who's a Bama fan. Like, I'm not before the disc golf. What's it like being a fan of like the most dominant team in college football history? Well, we got the greatest coach ever, Nick Saban, <laughs> my hero. So once that started, once that uh, era started. I mm -hmm. uh, became very gracious, and I uh, just love Alabama football. Oh, I know it, man. I remember at Worlds this year, I believe you were wearing like an Alabama football or college shirt, at least, with your mm -hmm. prodigy name on it. So yeah, it we know it runs deep. You know it does. Um, we're on the West Coast. You haven't really you know, made too much of a presence in recent mm -hmm. years on this West Coast. Mm -hmm. What brings you out here? Uh, thanks to my awesome sponsor and prodigy. They, a couple weeks ago, helped for like, man, you got to come out here. Made the things happen, and I am here, and I'm very gracious to be here because of them. Thank cool. you, Prodigy. <laughs> Plugs out early. Good call on that. Um, did you play any tournaments on the way over? Is this, uh, you know, I know it's a long drive. You were at GBO, right? Uh, You're not was, at GBO. I was not at GBO. Where were you last? I played the little down south stretch in uh, City of Mobile, mm -hmm. Jacksonville Open, Tallahassee, and then went to Jonesboro. Then played a little lo local event that I took down. That's my Pride Joy tournament, my <laughs> no SmackDown. Uh -oh. Thanks to my boys at Southside guys. Good. And then um, went to, had a tournament in Milton, Ryan Van, little Prodigy event. And then went to Memphis last weekend, played a oh. Dogwood Classic. Yeah. That's a drive then. Drive. But then I ended up get, getting a ride to New Orleans because I had a bad wheel bearing. Thanks, uh, Doug, for giving me a ride down to New Orleans too. <laughs> And flew out there and then ended up here Tuesday, thanks to Seppo picking me up. Oh, dude, man, this has been like a whirlwind few weeks for you then. I'm like a professional gypsy. <laughs> yeah, what do you know? What? Disc golfers, gypsies, they're mm -hmm. almost one and the same these yeah. days. Um, out at San Francisco Open, right? Mm -hmm. Big open bomber course. How do you feel like your game's feeling? Like you got the distance on lock, it's going to be windy. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you feeling out here? I'm feeling good. Uh, I feel like putting your first shot inbounds is crucial out here. Mm -hmm. Just putting it in play and then take it from there. But uh, I figured I like the course a lot, so I'm having fun when I'm playing. So that's a big factor, too, and I just enjoy playing out here. Yeah. So that makes it a lot better just to even think about, like, the whole aspect of what I'm trying to do. I'm just, like, trying to go out there have a little more fun, yeah. put the first tee shot in bounds, and go from there. Yep. Absolutely, man. That's that's so crucial. Uh, we saw – I don't know if you saw it, but I was watching the coverage from Goat Hill last week down in San Diego – Similar vibe of a course where it's a lot of elevation, a lot of long shots, but not really any out of bounds. Um, are there any holes out here that, you know, the out OB is sticking out to you, or is there any, like, plays that you're really focusing on going into the weekend? Um, I'd say the par 5, number 10, mm -hmm. kind of gets, like, a little bit there with the OB. Um, besides that, I feel like maybe the par 5, too, that goes down the hill. Yeah. A little wind could cause OB there, but yeah. those are the only two I really kind of skeptical on. Okay. As far as that, and 18's upshot with the yep. bunkers. Yep. But, um, oh, go ahead. But besides that, yeah, I feel like it's pretty fairly simple if you just keep it in bounds the first try. Sure. Not simple, but. Hmm. Yeah, you know, you're predictable. You yeah, know what you're doing at yeah. least. Um, how do you feel one of the biggest changes in the course is hole eight? Mm -hmm. uh, now we have two rivers with a safe zone in the middle. Uh, last year it was kind of one gelatinous OB. Mm -hmm. What's your play on hole eight? Hole eight, I like to go over to the past the first uh, mm -hmm. OB into the second drop zone okay. area or to the second yeah, cut the safe zone. to the left side because it's a little bigger on that side. And okay. once you get over there, it, I don't feel like it's much of an advantage to be any further up or back at that point. I feel like from there, it's pretty yeah. typical up and down versus being 40 feet up, which wouldn't make that big of a difference, sure. you know? Yeah. Um, what's your plan for these next several weeks? You're on the West Coast now, but you flew in, mm -hmm. um, so you don't have you know a car to be driving around. Are you hitting Masters Cup? Are you hitting the Portland tournaments? What's your play? I'm hitting Masters Cup. I'm on the wait list, but I might probable I might get in that okay. one. Yeah. And I'll be traveling with uh, Charlie, Kevin, and Seppo. Oh, wow for the next few weeks, which will be awesome. Great. And then going to Portland Open, and I might stay for a weekend after that up okay. there and do some things, and then I'm not probably getting in Beaver State, so I gotta go home. No. But after that, uh, before I found out I was coming here a couple weeks, I did a seven weeks tour schedule, basically maybe longer that I put up, 
So I'll be doing that right after this too. So okay. I'll be right back at it in the Midwestern whole little stretch. Great, great. Uh, speaking of the Midwestern, we have Worlds uh, this year in Peoria. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I feel like there's some magical thing with you at Worlds, right? Mm -hmm. You play well all the time, but you're always in the running at Worlds. Um, a, why is that, right? Do, right? Is there a reason? And B, how are you feeling uh, with Peoria Worlds this year? Um, I take it a little more serious than most of them, all of them, like probably too. Like I feel like I, I put 100%. I know I should do, do that every tournament, but that's one I really feel like I put 100% into everything. I put all my good frisbees in my bag, everything. <laughs> like I don't care if I lose this one, this yep. tournament, and that kind of stuff. Yep. And I, have a, I feel good about it. I'm glad we're playing Northwoods. Sure. So that gives me and my buddy, you know, me and the Southern boys, a little uh -huh. better of a chance in the woods. You know, Eureka is kind of tough for me to yeah. hang with them four rounds. I mean, I can hang, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't, I mean, I, I know you as somebody, I mean, you throw hard, you throw far, mm -hmm. you putt great, but for me, you hitting lines mm -hmm. is, like, one of the most satisfying things to watch. Uh, does that, am I crazy, or does that feel like, uh, is that, like, what you pride yourself on? How, mm -hmm. what do you think? I, I, well, from where I play in the Deep South, it's pretty pine tree, beeline, golf, so mm -hmm. that's my go-to shot, and yeah. it's kind of what I'd like to see more on tour from some courses, just to have a little more gap off the tee. Yeah. Not just because I'm good at it or nothing, but that's just something I feel like's not there all the time. Yeah, I think it makes it feel like more dynamic golf when there's trouble early. A lot of mm -hmm. these courses, you, know, you can get in trouble, but it's 400 feet down the fairway. Mm -hmm. Instead of just having at least a, somewhat of a guide off the box, a little uh -huh. bit more to keep it more where you got to throw that precise shot, not where you can just go. Yep. Max, yeah, Max, Max this, yeah. This type of deal. Um, you said your South, your Southern boys. Um, one of those in particular, Mr. Cameron Cole Glazier. Yeah. I know you guys have a pretty unique relationship, you know, mm -hmm. relative to a lot of these disc golfers. Um, how, first of all, how did it come about? Like, mm -hmm. why are you guys such boys? Oh, uh, I met Cam while he was skipping baseball practice <laughs> while Greg Barsby was in town, and Greg wanted to play at Toss, and I was like, dude, I don't want to. And he was like, come on. So we went and played. And the first thing there, Cameron was there, and we were, somebody was like, this guy, watch him throw. Mm -hmm. And he threw a hole with a, like a 165 katana, <laughs> threw like 420 feet, and I was like, all right, who's this guy? Yeah. And ever since then, we've seen each other. I saw him play AMS, and he went to pro like within five months. Yeah, he's not the So, player. yeah, so right then, I was just like, all right, and then we played every tournament for life down <laughs> south, every tournament. Oh. And we just became friends from, it's pretty cool though, because we're so kind of different but similar, mm -hmm. but we combined and disc golf kind of brought us together. And now we're like really good friends and awesome. all that, you know, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah it is really cool. And uh, I've heard that like you guys go into tournaments saying if it's one, two, we're splitting. Yeah. Is that true? Mm -hmm. We have splits. Yeah. If we have, we have little clauses in there, <laughs> you know, but yeah, definitely. It okay. keeps it fun for us, especially if we're playing an event and we're doing good. It keeps us fun for us. So we're like on the way home, have like a chain out for the last hole for the win. You're like... <laughs> That's 750 bucks or something, you yeah. know? Uh, well, absolutely, yeah. It can yeah. get it can be a dicey car ride, you know, yeah, $750 we'll talk later. To each other for a little bit, at least, you know, <laughs> for a little bit. No hating, but just like, mm. so that makes it fun on that part. That's good, man. Yeah. I I, uh, I see you guys rolling around together. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a, a, I mean, you guys are from the same area, so it mm -hmm. works out. But it's a cool relationship anyway. Yeah, for sure. Um, you're in San Francisco. Uh, are you at the Airbnb with the other Prodigy guys? Yes, sir. It's awesome. Uh, Love it. Dude, I bet, man. It seems like it's a ton of fun over there. Um, is there anything that you're going to do in the city, in the you know, in the Bay Area in general, you know, off the course? Anything you're looking to get into? Well, I lost my wallet so oh. bit yesterday, so I'll probably be keeping myself out of trouble. So I'll probably just be... Uh, <laughs> True tourist. Okay. Walking the streets, just catching the vibes. No, that's awesome, man. And there's tons of vibes to catch out here in the mm -hmm. city. So, uh, I, you know, I hope you have a blast with that. Mm -hmm. I recommend going to Golden Gate Park, checking out the disc golf course. That's my home course, and I it's wanna, a gem. I want to go to Amoeba Records for sure. Dude. That's my kind of thing. Absolutely. Hate Street, I really recommend it. There are some, you know, dirty street kids. But besides that, it's fantastic. Yeah. I'll blend in. <laughs> uh, all right, well, I'll get you out of here. Uh, I know Charlie's over there waiting for a nice, refreshing beverage for you. Um, is there anything that you have to say to your friends, family, anybody at home that's rooting you on? Uh, love everybody in the Deep South, Mobile, New Orleans, Nick Saban, Mom and Dad, love you. Roll Tide. <laughs> oh, you're the man, Maddie. That was a lot of fun. Uh, for everyone at home, if you want coverage of all things disc golf, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Boom. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out that interview. I just want to take a little bit of time at the end of this video to thank a few early season sponsors. That's Disc Golf Pins, OTB, Airborne Disc Golf, and of course Prodigy Disc for hooking it up with so many sweet D2s. Thanks guys.